Game face on. Game face on. I'm trending. You're trending. I'm trending. You're trending. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Hello in London. Hello in Ghana. Hello in America. Hello worldwide. Hello. <laughs> It's exactly 5.30 on the dots right here in the UK, in London, and I am your host, A to the D to the W to the O to the A, Adjoa, right here on Great TV London, on the trending show. You ready? Are you hip? Are you happening? <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Do you want to have fun? Have you had a, a bad day, by the way? Or are you having an incredible day? Whatever day you are having right now, I promise you, by the time the show comes to an end, <laughs> you'll be trending. You'll be trending. You'll be trending. You'll be trending. Um, tonight, I get to do this wonderful show with a great man. Someone I admire. Someone I love to love. This man... He's masculine, ladies. <laughs> One more. <laughs> he's sweet, um, he's sexy, and he's humble, and he's, is he very married? I don't want to say that. <laughs> His name is Passionate Man. <laughs> Mr. Passion. <laughs> You're welcome to Great TV. Well, thank you. Good to be here. Good thank be you. Thank you. You look amazing, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so tonight, it's not just me on this scene, you know. I'm not the only person that's about to trend worldwide with you. But we're trending right here and right now with passionate men. Give it up for him. Give him that clap. Okay, give him the clap right now. Uh -huh. Let's give him a <laughs> welcome. We're trending. We're trending. Producer? Give him the clap. We are trending. We are trending. Okay, so as usual, right here yeah. we have a tradition. Sure. We start with the birthdays first Definitely. because we believe in the living. Mm. Tonight, my topical question: What I want to clear my throat on is something that has been bugging me and is bugging this generation. Yeah. And it concerns we as a people loving the dead mm. much more than we love and celebrate the living. I think it's an error. And tonight, Passionate Matt will get to share his ideas and views on that. Definitely. But let's start with the birthdays, as usual. Yeah. <laughs> so the first person we're celebrating today is the legendary, the sweet goddess, Diana Ross. He lives in me. <laughs> if I can ever sing like that lady, I'll be making billions of pounds right yeah actually yeah she's a Diana Ross obviously she's a she has a, a whole she's a generation to herself you know yeah she, her music she's legendary like you rightly said and uh, she's achieved a lot of I mean when you talk about Grammys when you talk about albums five live albums 24 studio recording albums you know she's had a remarkable career Korea, yeah. don't forget she started from the Supremes you know and so she rose up from Supremes and then uh, you know went out as a solo artist She's one of the, and the longest. Top. I think she actually sacrificed a lot of things, yeah, you know, of course she did, to yeah. get to where she is. Yeah. And one of the things that, to me, is amazing about her is how she's brought her children with her. Oh yeah, you yeah. know, she's a very yeah. loving mum. Yeah. And one of the things that caught my eye when I went to the gram this week was her daughter celebrating her, yeah. like "I love you, mama." That's yeah. just the so sweetest simple. message. So very simple. simple and very meaningful as well of course yeah. and so happy birthday diana ross we mm. love you we admire you we pray you more increase more years more, more hits <laughs> you know <laughs> and of course more legendary of course of course. <laughs> everything don't forget that she's one of the longest serving members of supreme before the jackson five yes. went on a uh, motown records uh, she, she was, was already there, yeah, she was you know, there. so she's one of the longest serving members of Motown Records, so it's quite important. That talk, talk about a great woman, she is a great woman. Of course, yeah. And then, our next birthday celebrant is all the way, to, we, we move all the way to Nigeria, where we celebrate Banky Wellington, AK, whose original name is Olu Bankole, which means, God help me build my house. Sure. And uh, so many people came on the ground wishing him well, praying for him. Yeah. One of the things that caught my eye was Ebuka, his yeah. one of his best friends, yeah. you know, um, wished for him. How he was 
telling him to continue being great and mm. kind towards people and all that. Yeah. But most importantly, the message that I was looking out for, it came and in grand style too. <laughs> his wife okay. had more things to say about him. Yeah. So as we celebrate Banky W, let me just take you to um, uh, his wife's war. I don't want to say anything out of my head. Yeah. What so she, she yeah, said. what she said. Trust me, if your wife is not saying this about you, <laughs> why are you alive on your birthday? <laughs> uh, are you saying this to the, to the young men out there? Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this to every single person that's watching right now. I mean, love is sweet, oh. Yeah. Love is sweet when, you, when, you are, when you're re with the right person. Um, okay. So this is her message. The message that, I mean, became the delight of the day. She yeah, says, sure. Booba. At Banky Wellington, you know I love you. I love rides, roller coaster rides, car rides, bike rides, and boy, I have been on some amazing rides. But life with you is by far the best ride I have ever been on. Amazing. It's a ride I never want to get off. Mm. Like when you give a lady a lift and she doesn't want to get off. She's actually trending now. <laughs> she's trending, she is, seriously. She's trending She's now. trending with this message. She said, you are a reflection of God's deep love for me. You mm. are everything I prayed for. You are the most beautiful surprise. You are proof that God is real. That silent, that silent prayers are heard. That mm. his love can be felt. That his love is true. You inspire me. You make me better. And coming home to you every day is one of the greatest blessings of my life. Oh, love and one to see. Amazing, amazing. Then she says, your heart is unmatched. Your love makes every day a beautiful day. I'm by far the luckiest woman in the world. Mm. I love you so much. Sometimes mm. I feel like my heart is going to burst out. Wow. I celebrate you today. And I hope I make you feel as special and as loved as you always make me feel. I'm so blessed to call you my husband. And in 50 years, may we be cute, wrinkly, have great dent dentition, be in great health and deeper in love. I look forward to dancing with you like this forever, surrounded by God's peace and love. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, may the Lord surround you now and forever. May mm. he continue to announce you to the world. May he bless all the work of your hands. May he make you a channel of blessing. Mm. A city set upon a hill, a hill cannot be hidden. I declare that your glory shall never be hidden. I speak God's favor into every area of your life. May the good Lord continue to light your path in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday, baby. Words will never be enough. A day mm. so. A day so you're trying to challenge me. <laughs> you're trying to because uh, it was my, my husband's birthday on the 24th. And you did, you and, did a lot. And, and, and I did, you, you did, know. You did your best. I did my best. <laughs> but like, this lady is making me feel yeah. some type of way. She, she's gone past you. <laughs> she's trending, actually. <laughs> she, <laughs> oh she's trending with this mess. And then yeah. her husband came to give her his response. He says, um, you're not here on my birthday, but you are on my mind and in my sure. heart all the time. Mm. I miss you and I love you now and always until we get to heaven. And even at that point, I'm going to try and negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for you in my life. I mean, these Nigerians, they love all. They know how to love all. They, they show love. They show love. <laughs> they, they can show love. They do show love. Yeah. I say, I'm so blessed to have you as my wife. I'm mm. grateful to God for you and I can't wait for the rest of this life God is building with us. Yeah. Come home soon. Love you, Skata. <laughs> like, love you, Skata. Yeah, Skata <laughs> so, yes, so that was the beautiful message. Mm. The love best exchange on yeah, yeah. Um, Banky's birthday. Have you got any wish for Banky? Yeah, I think uh, Banky, um, obviously, I mean, he's a industry guru, you know. Yes. People forget that Banky played a major, major role in Whiskey's career. Rise. Yeah. You know, people forget that. He was one of the reasons why... Well, I can't forget that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's one of the reasons why Whiskey really blew up, you know, to where he was. And in, the, in this industry, there's quite a lot of people that I can say are not super talented, but can make a career out of showbiz. Like Ghana's D-Block. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go there. I didn't say that. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Let's not go there, yeah. But Bunky is one of them few people that is super talented. Great voice, great songwriter. 
he understands what he's doing. He's, he's not a fluke. You know, you can count on Banky and say, look, in 10, 15, 12, 14, whatever years, you'll still be Banky. You'll still right? be Banky. Yeah. You know, so for me, I think it's, blessed, it's a blessing to Africa, it's a blessing to Afrobeats, especially in this era where Afrobeat is breaking boundaries. So, just know. in case you're thinking, who is this Banky? Would you be my lover? Uh, yes. Exactly. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. You know, that, that, that guy, that's the guy we're talking about. Maybe connect him to Sarkodier's song. The, we Which him featuring Sarkodier. Oh, and that's oh, more oh. That's exactly. That's more <laughs> easy, you know. I can't <laughs> sing that song to save my life. I know. <laughs> I, know I know. Okay, so, um, so many people are trending right now, right here on Trending with us. And I just would love to give them the usual shout outs Definitely. so that they know that we appreciate that they are online with us benjamin Bio is watching thank you for watching benjamin nanayao is watching thank you for watch watching lexis j stone is watching thank you for watching abna fusia thank you for watching alberta i thank you for watching david osu thank you you guys are trending right now on great tv london solomon Nyantachi, thank you for watching you're trending too cool Kubura Musa is also trending. He says, wow, wow, I know, I know, right? We're tickling your fancy, I know. <laughs> um, Teddy Crafts Benson is watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah, all are trending. Um, Moses um, Akko is also watching. Moses Akko actually says, Madam Ajwa, nice seeing you. Doing what you, you know how to do best. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very grateful. Um, that's a compliment, actually. Yeah. Nice seeing you do what you love to do best. Of course. I love doing this. Of I course. love talking. Of course. <laughs> I could be a chatterbox. <laughs> the, the one and only address. Ah. <laughs> that's the only one. Somebody and, said to me, Kunku Baja. <laughs> <laughs> and then Patience Gulu says, you look sweet. Thank you. I mean, don't forget to pay my guest and co-presenter um, some great compliments. He's a great guy. Trust me. You don't even know how of it but i believe that by the time we end the show you would know that after passionate man is passionate man <laughs> we'll get there we'll get we're getting there <laughs> okay. and we're trending okay so the next person we're celebrating is um prisla upukwajiman mm. aka ahofe patri ahofe patri i mean this girl is yeah. It's everyone's girlfriend. It's every guy's Everyone. dream girlfriend in no. Ghana. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guys have her on their phones talking about her. And I hope for three. I hope for three. I hope for three here and there. I believe she and Calibus yeah. have this kind of great chemistry. Yeah, sure. That anytime you see them in a movie, that is I hope for three looking yeah. so beautiful. I, I love her. Her hair. Yeah, actually. I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah. This, this lady doesn't, doesn't spend much on weeks, you know. She doesn't even have time for weeks. And and that's what one thing I, I like about her, you know. You I better like, not say anything about weeks, man. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, wearing a wig. No, no, I'm not talking about weeks okay. now. But one thing I Pastor like Jerry, about her... Pastor don't touch your nose. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I like about her is um, uh, the, the way she's able to, you know, exhibit, you know, her natural beauty yes. through, through her personality. You know, is that, that's is right. that to say girls wearing wigs are not natural? No, not really, but it's the if way she... If you try me, I'll take off my wig. No, not at all, not at all. Please, are you daring me, passion? <laughs> are you daring me? I, no, I can't dare you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dare you on that one. Now my producer <laughs> is on, on his knees. Yeah, are you worried. begging? He's actually worried. <laughs> <laughs> We're trending. We're trending. He's actually worried. But, you know, like I was saying, I like the way she's able to, you know, showcase her... Um, her natural beauty through her personality, yes. you know, because I mean, we've seen it all in showbiz sometimes, you know, not all, all people can do what she does, you know, be so, so well, so well and yeah. being natural within her own space, you know, as well, and not trying to be another person, you know, because originality always keeps you going for long, it, it gives you that longevity. It will sell you locally, it will sell you internationally, That's trust me. That's and uh, just in case you don't know this lady, um, go and check movies like Calibus in China yeah, sure. and Amache and the Day Out. You yeah. know who I'm talking about. Yeah. One of the, the um, sitcoms that actually put them in the limelight for mm. me was this this small play they acted where Calibus was acting like a rich man. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, he was yeah. posing around her car. Uh, sure, sure. And, yeah, and, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then they're owing up the car the way. I think it was one of the earlier scenes. Yes, there, you know? yes, yeah, yeah, yes, that was yes. Really one of the quite, first things that actually yeah caught our eyes and made us interested sure, in this sure. um, great actress. Anyway, all the best to Ahofe Patri, Patricia, um, Priscilla, God bless you and increase your greatness. Amen. 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 And then... That's a trending church. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
the trendy church <laughs> is right here on great tv okay so everyone's favorite sugar daddy on tv who is he do you know everyone's favorite sugar daddy on tv well kufia jololo isn't it oh! <laughs> <laughs> kufia jololo. yes he's the one yeah. i mean when it comes to Ghanaian movies yeah i mean every young actress dream and pray of course yeah. to have that man yeah. act as the sugar lady in the scene Definitely, or two yeah. and he does what he does so incredibly mm -hmm. well we celebrate a living legend today yeah. he's actually 63 years old and the guy looks great he does. i mean he does. oldie but goldie yeah. um yes that is his picture and i love the fact that he came out and did that photo shoot in our local traditional yeah. county yeah. you know yeah. he looks rich he does. He does. You know, he's, is he rich though? He's looking more healthy. Is he rich though? Know, I think health is wealth. So <laughs> yeah, once right. He's, once he's healthy, yeah, right. Uh, we we would presuppose he's he's wealthy. So okay. So someone all the way from Uganda says um, Moses Jididaya is watching from Uganda Kampala, Uganda. Hey. You are in town, Uganda's and you guys are trending. <laughs> Let's give it up for the Ugandas, yeah. Yeah. Let's give it up for them. Yay, you're trending. We're trending. Um, someone cool lady Nashes, what a lovely message to a lovely is it husby or husky? I mean probably husby. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. that's what she wrote. Typo maybe. Yeah. Um okay, yeah to Ti Okra Yankee is also watching. Girl, you're trending. So can we have the birthday song for all these birthday celebrants as we roll the our photos together? Are we ready? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. So that's how the guys that don't know how to dance behave. <laughs> like the way he said the hey should make you know that passionate cannot dance to save his life. Oh my days. <laughs> but can you? A little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Happy birthday to you. That's Stevie Wonder, right? Yeah, Stevie Wonder's version. Address Alboate, aka your international blaster, and I'm right here blasting the right way on Great TV London just for your pleasure, you know, just to let you know what is happening worldwide, just to make sure you trend worldwide, just to make sure that you, you experience the miracles that happen on TV. How about that? Give it up for me. <laughs> and tonight, I get to do this great and incredible job of mine that makes me happy all the time with Mr. Passionate Man, the great man, you know. I, I love men that are men, you know, macho men, you know. Would you mean men that are men? <laughs> are, are some men not some men? <laughs> are some men not men? Uh, so? I, I don't know, man. Oh, there are certain men that are, might not be men. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, but like I'm saying. What, I makes, just, what makes a man a man, though? You, you look incredible. Thank you. I mean, just. just Th thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's the gentleman thing to can do, we, right? Can we continue? We are trending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tonight, my next story. Yeah. Are you married? I am married, yeah. I'm married too, but this story makes me want to, you know, yeah. ask God to take me back into my mom's womb. And come back again. And come back again. And this yeah. time, when I'm coming, I don't even want to come back as Dango's daughter. I want to come back as <laughs> Bill Gates daughter or something. Oh my days. You know? Yeah. Be born in Beckingham Palace or something. Mm. That, that would count for something, right? Yeah, yeah. This wedding saw the greats like His Excellency Nana Adadanko Ekufuado. Yeah. It's all greats like President Buhari of Nigeria. Yeah. It's all Bill Gates and so many other great men. Like, how do they say it? The creme de la creme. The creme de la creme. Of the yeah. society, right? Yeah, sure. Went to celebrate mm. Fatima and Abu, Abu Bakar's wedding yeah. in Nigeria. I mean, in Lagos. Come on. Come on. Have you seen the pictures? 
Have you uh, seen the pictures? I think Adua is, is one of them weddings that probably will go down as um, the most uh, celebrated wedding ever, maybe in Africa. They better not break up, you know. Well, breaking up is another story. They better not break up. I'm praying for you. you know, Fatima, I'm praying for you. <laughs> Abu Bakar, who went to um, Dambote's um, backyard to pluck his flower. I'm praying for you. Yes, yes. You, you better not. You guys yeah. better not break up because we are praying. We actually invested in the wedding. Yeah. I've been feasting my eyes on Instagram, <laughs> looking at her, her jewelry, looking at her... At her I mean, come on, the, the, the wedding was just spectacular, beautiful. You can tell how well it, it was organized, you know, you could tell the organization, because it took time to get Bill Gates, to get President Leonardo, to get all these great guys. Together. You know, together, not engage in different activities around the world. And you know, these are international guys, you know, hmm. but it, it did take a lot of We time. have a video. <laughs> sure. And this, and this video is for the lady, right? Yeah. The bride from her dad. Sure. And this is one of the most amazing things that I think I've heard come from Dangote. Dangote, yeah. I mean, if all fathers were just loving and caring, mm. I mean, I don't care how much a father has, mm. but you ought to be there for your children. Yeah. Okay, you could have, I mean, as in one, is it pence? One, one pence? Yeah. Yeah, one pence. Yeah. One pence, right? Yeah, yeah. As to having one billion pounds. Of course. If you have one billion pounds and you're not interested in the well-being of your children, please, you can go to hell for all I care. Well, producer just alerted me one penny. <laughs> one, thank you, one penny. Thank you, thank one you for penny. the correction. So, one penny, one Ghana for your pocket. <laughs> one dollar, whatever you might have. I mean, regardless of how rich or how poor you are, mm. a father should always know his place. Yeah. That is being a father. Mm. And this man did that for me let's yeah. just watch this video Fatima my baby my youngest my sweetheart this is a bittersweet time for any parent I've watched you blossom into an excellent representation of what I call my values you are indeed pure to them I've trained you to take on any kind of weight on your shoulders and also to be bold and respectful. Jamil has been a son to me even before I realized he had gone inside my garden to pluck my Juliet rose. I'm here anytime you need me and I love you unconditionally. I've done enough homework to know that Jamil will always respect the ground you walk on. Good luck on this new journey, my baby. The time has come. Be loved, be very happy, and I love you very, very dearly. For you to be loved and yeah. be happy. Yeah. Good luck, my baby. Yeah. I mean, bittersweet message, like he said. Mm. But most importantly, I felt his love and his heart in the marriage. What yeah. do you think about the message? You know, Joe, the, the thing about Dan Kote is just not an ordinary man. You know, he's the, uh, probably the most black, richest black man now, you know. Uh, not to talk about who he is in Nigeria and what he represents. You Even know, in Africa. In Africa as well, yeah. you know. So um, it, for him to give his door away to another man, it, it takes a lot out of him, great deal. You know, he has to make sure he's, doing, he's getting the right choice, the right person, you know. But you can feel his sincerity. You know, that's the most important thing. You can feel his sincerity. And he said something. You know. He said, I've done my homework. Of course. Enough know. to know yeah. that Jamel will worship the ground you walk on. Of course. I mean, he, the man is rich. I mean, a lot, so. a lot of young people right now, you bring a man home and your dad or your mom has something to say about that person. Yeah. You don't want to know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm the one that's getting married. Let me be. It's my business. Whatever happens, it's not just your business. Yeah. It's not just your business. Isn't that society now where we've come, at, uh, where society is at now? You know, I mean, we're so living in a fast society where well, well, are so and, and society you know. is, is an error. Well, some will That's say. That's what's happening. You know, it's an error. Say, I'm not, I, I, I wouldn't say some will say, I'm saying. <laughs> well, society is an error. Yeah. Okay, back to our topical question for the day. Sure. We are asking, why do we wait for people to die before we will get 
a black pen mm -hmm. or a red pen. I don't know what what they use in writing tributes mm. and write lengthy messages like this sweet message that Adeswa um, posted on the ground for her husband. Yeah, she wouldn't do that. There are certain people that are actually in marriages that are dead marriages. Mm. They don't get celebrated when the occasion presents itself. Out of occasion, they don't get celebrated. Yeah. They don't feel loved. They don't. They don't feel cared for. The person is not correcting you. The person is not loving you. The person is not nurturing you. There are certain people that are with their parents, and their parents don't even care, mm. or don't even know their whereabouts right now that we are talking. There are certain people that don't even care about their parents. Yeah. There are certain people that don't care about their children. Mm. But wait, and let that child die. Wait and let that parent die. Wait and let that relative die. Wait and let that friend die. Wait and let that pastor die. They will come out and mourn. And, and right, they right. cry in Chinese. They cry in every language possible. Mm. Just to show people that they are saddened by what has happened. Meanwhile, while the person was alive, that person might probably not even waste their common phone minutes on them and call and say, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah. You okay? Mm. So what's happening? Because recently, this thing happened in Ghana where this young lady, for the people that are watching that are not from Ghana, this, this young lady who was born in 1997 yeah. and who died in 2018. Sure. Very beautiful young lady. Very talented. The way I know about her upbringing is that her mom lived here in the UK for a very long time mm. and her dad was in Ghana and her dad is actually the one that raised herself and her other siblings. Yeah. She blossomed from school. She decided to, was it defer or something? Um, yeah, she decided and pursue to music, pr right? pursue music, right? Yeah. And pursue music. She met this um, talented musician turned producer or mm. manager. Record bullets label. or yeah. record label mm -hmm. who produced her songs mm -hmm. the guy actually fought for her to come into the limelight when she came her style her dressing her way of singing or her approach to her art was different from what we are used to mm -hmm. and indeed most of us criticize there i'm a part of it i said in one of my shows that someone need to tell her that if she wants longevity like great women like Akusia Japan, yeah. she needs to check her dressing. Mm. Perhaps I didn't do enough because I was here in the UK. That was when I heard of her. Yeah. A lot of Ghanaians hailed her, loved her, mimicked her, insulted her, hated her. In fact, she became one artist that Ghanaians loved to hate on. Yeah. Unfortunately, just when she rose so greatly into fame, she went away like that mm. through an accident. And now, Ghanaians gave her a heroic burial. I mean, her farewell is like that of a president mm. or someone that we have loved all our life. But this girl came into fame like two years ago. Yeah. Also, why couldn't Ghanaians or as people as a whole tell her in love without hate that my love, this path that you're treading is great. You look great, by the way. We believe in what you carry, but this is how we believe you should go about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. instead People were like, I don't even care. Some will say, I just hate her music. Others said, we love her music, not just her style. She died. And from people who were buying coffins to people who even gave her endorsement deals. Mm, mm. You know? Yeah. What is happening? Is it right that we celebrate these artists, these great people when, when they are dead? What we can do that while they are alive and kicking? Ajo, that's a big, big question for you and I to um, 
unravel today. Um, I think one of the most important things that we need to understand is that uh, the thing about Airbunny's death, her demise, was it's not just about who, who Airbunny was or uh, what Airbunny stands for. It is much more bigger than Airbunny herself, you know, because I tell you what, if Miss Bell had gone the same line, she would have ended up the same line, God forbid. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But the most important thing is that it's, it's an industry problem. You know, how many record labels are in Ghana? How many proper, well-managed record labels can you talk of? Boldly say. I mean, mm. we here in the UK, we, we, we know loads of artists that do worse things than uh, what Ghanaians probably think, quote unquote, is not good, you know. But it's about the management, it's about the record labels, it's about the well-being of the artists, you know, the homes they live in, the cars they drive, the people that guard them, you know. How could how could everybody travel all the way down somewhere, I mean, without not even a, a, t a management member? Knowing. I know Reggie and Bully very well, and mm. I can tell you, wherever they go, they go at least one member with them from the team. You know, and that's how it works. So, you know, from when people started talking about her dressing, you know, that Ebony wasn't good, this and that. You know, the first thing I sat back and I asked myself is that her talent, I mean, uh, her talent was just uh, immensely, I mean, she's so immensely talented. You can't speak nothing about the girl's talent. You know, every time she sang, you could feel a certain power behind uh, her voice, a certain exactly. power behind the tone of the song she, that was coming out. You know, she could own the song. It doesn't matter whoever wrote the song, she could own it. And that is a great sign of a well-gifted person yeah. to sing. But in terms of management, I mean, Bullet was just a young man you know, broke out of uh, uh, rough and smooth, you know, started this whole project himself, got Midas Touch to come on board. He's trying to do something for himself. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's bigger than what we think. You know, if we had proper, proper world record labels, they would have prescribed certain dresses for her, where to go, where not to go, where to, when to sleep, when not to sleep, where to be. These are things that are controlled. People don't know. But what I'm saying right now is, let's not even, like, aside how Ebony was managed and all that. Yeah. Why did we have to wait for her to die? Why do we have to wait for the people that we love and care about? Why do I have to wait, God forbid, for something bad to happen to you before I say that? Passionate was just a great and incredible man. Why can't I just say it right now? Why can't I just, you know, tell you that, oh, Passionate, what you did yeah. is not good. Yeah. Okay, I think if you did it this way, yeah, sure. It will, it will go a long way to help you. I think it links back to what I just said earlier on. And, you know, because b before anything starts, you know, there's always a foundation to everything because music is so powerful. And so is, it, is the foundation from her home or from her management? You know, I, I see it more from a, an industry problem, not just from home, but it's an industry problem. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, in music, everyone will tell you, or in showbiz, let me so to speak, everyone will tell you, the people you surround yourself with, it, it's so crucial to your to you going up or you coming down, you know. So for you to say, why couldn't somebody celebrate her? You ask yourself, who were the people around her? What were they telling her? Were they advising her to go in a certain direction or not? But having said all these things. There's another side of the story that we have to understand that in Ghana we don't celebrate our, our, our showbiz personnel. That's and my point. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. We don't even celebrate no, we people. Don't. We don't celebrate life. You that is trending with me yeah. right now, I celebrate you. I love you. Yeah. And I pray that if there's something that you're going through right now, God himself in his grace helps you pull through out of it. Yeah, sure. I need you alive. I don't need you dead. And I don't want to come to your funeral and mourn and, and sure. act like, you know, you were all that to me. Yeah. Mm. If I love you, I should be able to say it now. So if your mom is beside you, if your mom is not beside you, if you have your phone, if your friend or whoever you care about is beside you, wherever they, they might be, just pick up the phone, you know, yeah. go to them. Let them know that you appreciate them while they are alive. And please, if a loved one is doing something that's wrong, we have no right to judge, but we have a right to correct and love. Yeah, sure. I mean, Ebony, Ebony, I mean, she, you know, regardless, she was a national asset, you know. And uh, such a person, if there was proper schemes, you know, I don't think her lifestyle in terms of clothing, in terms of, because the showbiz, you know, she only performs, goes back off stage, you know, and then she's another person altogether. 
you know, sometimes you, you're going on stage and you don't even know what to expect. You're nervous, regardless of how big you are. You're nervous, and until the show kicks off... Now, listen, that's, that's something that a lot of people don't know. I remember I went somewhere and they said that, you know what, you're so bold, you've been doing this, this, for, for, this thing for years, and you yeah. can just flow like that. Yeah. Trust me, regardless of who you are. And I said this, I said this in 2007 on Ghana's Most Beautiful Platform yeah. when Gideon... I quit. Asked us. Uh, oh yeah. We were like four finalists, mm. and it was left with me and the great our crowd um, um, representative mm -hmm. on stage, mm -hmm. and they asked us, sure. "Are you scared?" You know what she said? <laughs> she said, "No." Well, I'm scared. Oh, I'm sure. not. But I had to be real. Yeah, sure. And I said, regardless of who you are, when you get to this stage, you do. Trust you do. me, your heart. It's, it, your, 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 uh, your heart is in tatters. Like, oh, I'm standing here shivering all over. I'm scared. You feel a little bit twinged, is not it? Exactly. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's no way that you would say that someone is just <laughs> bold yeah. and uh, they're they not afraid of anything. Yeah, sure. We all are. Sure. One way or the other. I think Ebony could, could her, her demise could have been avoided in a certain way. I mean... Uh, let's not go into the roles I, and I, other things, you know. But you know, it's, it's sad to say, had we known. Yeah. I hope it never happened. I hope the, the lady was just here yeah. singing. I oh. hope I could just, you know, perhaps pick up the phone and say, you know what, we heard this bad news about you yeah. and we're glad it's not true. Yeah. But yeah. lots of people got it to bid her farewell. Trending. We're trending. We're trending. Actually, no, you're yes. trending. You're the one. You're the one that's trending. No, you're trending. Okay, so the whole world is trending right now on Great TV London, and we're happy. We are. <laughs> I hope we are everything you dreamt of today. Because trust me, I'm having fun. Should, should. Um. Uh, anyway, some of the people that are trending with us, I just want to recognize you and let you know that we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I want to let you know now before the judgment day. <laughs> <laughs> Before you die and they say, I didn't appreciate you. They, did. write, they write long passages <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Nana Kwame is watching. Thank you. You're trending right here on Great TV. Nana Odineho Ajiman, you're trending too. Amutu Emmanuel Boate, you are trending as well. Rita Mensa Dick says, you look good, Ajoa. GH miss you. I miss GH too. But hey, I'm trending right here in London. So <laughs> I'm trending internationally. Let's trend together, yeah? Um, Olivia Kunedu says, wow, that's a father. I mean, talking about Dangote's message yeah, to yeah. his daughter. Deep, deep. Yeah, very deep. Very insightful as well. I, yeah. I'm hoping that my husband is watching and he's taking, you know, some clues as to how right. to behave. He's a good when, man. Yeah, yeah a good when man. his daughters are, you know, keep going over to their husband's house and all that. And I hope you're taking... I am, actually. Yeah, because yeah. you have... And I hope very, every man out there is taking... You have a very beautiful daughter. I mean, you have a very beautiful... Thank I've you. been watching Thank your you. WhatsApp status and stuff and right. I'm like, hey, She's passionate. Trending, yeah. Passionate, man. She's trending. Your daughter yeah. is trending <laughs> right now on She's the show. Trending. She's trending. Wow. I joined the across. Also joined us. Thank you for joining us. Girl, you're trending. Frank, AJ Boateng, you're trending. I joined BK in P &E, you are trending. Um, George Solo says, thanks, Pastor Jamel, for inviting us. Pastor Jamel invited you to come and trend, George Solo. So you're trending. Bako Yoko Chuanjan says, today I'm late. Where have you been? Where were you? You know you get lashes for being late on the show. <laughs> anyway, you're trending and it's all love from us today. It's it's not only myself, it's me and Passion doing this passionately today. <laughs> right here on Trending Great TV London. And I just want to say thank you to my makeup artist, Mona Lisa. Beauty by Mona. I mean, I look amazing. A lot of people are saying I'm dazzling their screens and all that. I mean, come on. I, want, I wanted to say... I mean, it's, it's, it's by the grace of God. Sometimes God uses great vessels, People, yeah, you know, sure. like um, sure. Beauty by Mona. And yeah. we're very grateful. Girl, you're trending. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you get more customers, please still come back here and do my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> or I might just come back and say no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thousands. Yeah. Mourn and bid farewell. Yeah. Farewell to um Ebony. Ebony. Ebony Reigns. Ebony. Mm. Beautiful girl. Great talents. I mean, her skin color yeah. was just a delight. Sure. Her voice. I don't know how to sing all her songs, you know, but yeah. I can try. Um, he told me he was a banker. No, no, in Bankoba. This man is a gangster. Bukum banku boxer. Aja, you should, you should oh. actually go for a singer. You know. <laughs> Whatever. You, you, you Sorry, I'm a but I'm a number. It's trendy, bro. Hey, ganja is something cool. Ganja is shock and cool. Okay, ganja is shock and cool. Now she, de, he, they beat me every night and day. Mama, Mama she. <laughs> <laughs> you used yeah. to warn me, but I didn't wanna know. Mama she. Mama she. Mama she. Mommy show. So, um, wow. Mommy show literally means look, mum, yeah. or look, mother. Yeah. Look at what is happening to me. Yeah. Um, you warned me, you advised me, but I didn't even want to know. I didn't listen to what you, you said. Yeah. Was Ebony listening to her own self? I think. Well, did, she, did she know the impact of the song that she, she put out there? Because most young people that are singing mm. this song, are just singing it literally like they are yeah. just dancing and singing without actually listening to what it means yeah. yeah this is a young lady telling her mom that i'm sorry i didn't listen to you it's not about okay my mom wanted me to date someone and i dated someone else no she didn't listen to advice and a, every young lady or every young man or everyone in general, if you don't listen to advice, mm. if you don't hit to advice, you might end up in the wrong side of life. And probably we might be mourning you. Well, Ajua, that's a, that's, a, that's a sad part of the story, isn't it? Yes, very and sad. I, I think as well, uh, Ebony's song, you know, I think one of the reasons why even her demise has become so much of huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that song, I nearly forget. I, I sorry, I, ne I nearly forgot. Um, she, she, she said, "Well, if you break my heart, I go date your father." <laughs> <laughs> that one. No, I know you like that one. No, I'm I, know, like, I know you like that no, one. No, 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 no. Yeah. Anytime I heard that song, yeah, yeah, I was like, "This girl's just crazy." <laughs> you know. How are you gonna date someone's fella yeah. if she breaks it, if he breaks your heart? You know. I mean, can you do that? No, no she had a message in that song, you know. I know. Yeah, she I had know. a message in that to song. All the heartbreakers out there. Yeah, yeah she Like had a you can't play or toil with a girl's emotions. That's what it was. And get about. away with it. That's what it was. But about. the message was strong. If, I know, yeah, I know. if you break my heart, I'll date your father. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like I was saying, you know, all her songs for me was more spiritual, you know. Her song, her songs spoke a lot out there. So I think it's one of the reasons okay. why it's spiritual. It, yes, more spiritual because you you can connect her life to the music, you know, that she put out there. So it's some sort of speaking in the times, you know, and her lifestyle, every stage of her life, and that's quite um, uh, escalated even her death and everything, you know, because did she know she was gonna die? Why did she sing this song? Why you know, why did she, she do? Exactly. You know, so it's connect. There's that connection. That's more spiritual, you know, and Makes so sense. It, it, exactly. So passionate is getting very deep. She says, I mean, Ebony's songs were spiritual. I yeah. agree to some extent. Anyway, so um, we have photos from the funeral. That's there. I see Abeku Santana. Yeah. I see. Um, our boy. Our boy, so boy. Yeah. He's all over the news of late, you know. Oh, no, not just him, here in Shatawale, isn't he? Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> that's Shatawale guy, too. And, Another and story. don't forget Chipalago as well, you know, the, the, <laughs> video, the video blogger as well. <laughs> so, it's That guy away. is another blaster. I uh, know. Okay, and I think that's Bullets. Yeah. I don't know whether the lady is Bullets' wife or someone in the management group. Yeah, some sort of family. That's, that's the other guy. OG. OG, OG, right? OG, yeah. Okay. He was um, the one that actually found Ebony. Oh, OG found and Ebony introduced and introduced Ebony to, to, to Bullet, Bullet. Okay. and then he picked her from there. Okay, and, and that's her parents, yeah. her dad. Mm. Um, she used to have this um, 
relationship with her dad. Yeah, sure. I mean, out of all the people that mourned her, yeah. or out of all the people that were concerned about her, the person I prayed for was the dad. Was the dad. Mm. Because, I mean, he was, to me, the father and the mother at the, at the same time, yeah. Yeah. you know. And for such a young lady, mm -hmm. great lady, great daughter, to die just like that. It, it was hard to take, isn't uh, it? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to I take. mean, I know her, her mom is, is sad, is, is mourning, yeah. but I just, my heart goes out deeply to the dad because of the relationship yeah, yeah. I, mm. I got to know she had with her dad. Yeah, sure. On social media, everything that she did, her dad will come out and well, say, she literally, she literally grew, grew up around her dad, you know, so her dad has been the pillar behind her, you know, in her career, choosing whatever she wanted to do. Because the mum was here in the UK and um, uh, she's been here for a couple of years, yeah. you know, even though she goes back on holiday every day. Sadly, every she had yeah. to go. This and is then, it, you know. You know, meet the demise of her daughter. Yeah, I mean. But is it rather not sad that she went to Ghana and her daughter went to visit her and met her untimely death? Well, the, you know, people will say all sorts of things to connect Life. to it, you know, but I think uh, destiny, you know, nobody knows so, the destiny of Ijenava, you know. Sorry about that, but to those of you watching from outside Ghana who don't know this beautiful soul we lost in Ghana, yeah. That's her face. Very beautiful lady. Very, very beautiful. beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Her skin color. Melanin. Her, Melanin. Her teeth. Yeah, sure. I mean, this girl. I think personally, one thing I liked about her was her color because her music was saying, was speaking something about her color. You know, because we build a culture now where. You know, you have to have a certain tone of color. You have to dress in a certain type of way, you know, to, to be, be accepted. to be a diva. Yeah. You know, she broke all the rules, came with dread, dreadlocks, but the music will hit you. You know, so for me, her skin color and the voice and the influence, the power of the voice, you know, when I, that's massive. why, it was massive. When I, that's why I keep talking about spiritual, because I mean, when something is spiritual, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, but her voice and the Spiritual, tone... Spirituality so spiritual. is just spirituality. That's what it is. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so... Just let's observe a second. Yeah, sure. For her, may her soul rest in perfect, perfect peace. Perfect peace. And we pray that young people in Ghana and elsewhere in the world watching this show right now, will look at her life and find some kind of light mm. in, in this darkness that has fallen all over Ghana and yeah. the nations that loved her song. Yeah. That we will live right Definitely. and celebrate the ones we love and care about while they are in life mm. and not wait to pay homage or tribute to them. Yeah. Ebony. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Anyway, moving on. We're trending. We're trending, right? <laughs> we're back on trending. I mean, she just we just went away a bit in, yeah. in sorrow, but we have to. I mean, in the midst of death, we are in life. And yeah. We have to move on. Life goes on. Mm. Um, a bit of good news. We, 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 we go all the way to America, where yeah. we celebrate the life of Vigil Ablo, the Ghanaian-American who has just been made the oh. director of um, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton yeah. menswear, yeah, right? Sure. No, the I mean, creative, creative, creative director, Creative right? director for Louis, Louis Vuitton. Come on. I was Good news for you. Very, very massive yeah, news. I mean, and someone is going to be designing Definitely. I mean, it's, who understands you, it's, you know? You know, you know what I mean? And it's, 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 worth, it's worth talking about this for a whole year because people don't understand. It's not just a... A great feat. It's it's it shot the name of Ghana because I know you as you reckon. I was one of the early people that put the news out there, yeah. you know, and it shot the name of Ghana because the number uh, of uh, people uh, 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 that have googled about him, Wikipedia, that have checked about who he is, who is this guy, you know, Virgil Abloh, where did he come from? Knowing he belongs to he Ghana, comes from first, Ghana, you know. Let me let me update the world. <laughs> he know, comes from Ghana. You know, In fact, I think he's an ever man. He is an Everman. O originally, because originally, the name yeah. Ablo comes from the Volta region. Yeah, right? he's, he's, uh, he's born to, uh, he's, he's born, he has um, our parents, okay. you know, ever parents. So, 
uh, but he originally was born in uh, uh, Chicago, yeah, okay. where he lived, and then he's been traveling here and there, you know, and the last few years he's been working with Kanye West, you know, so uh, his, his, clo his clothing line has really come I up I mean, if stage. someone can, can stand the likes of Kanye, yeah. and, you know, all the people that he swept with, I yeah. think it speaks volumes for who he is, yeah, you know. He's naturally and gifted. Yeah, he's a naturally his, his gifted creative guy, yeah. abilities, and yeah. so um, from us here, and on the behalf of Mr. Passionate, man, who is so passionate about you. Mm -hmm. I hope that one day soon he gets to meet you, Major oh, Ablo. We, yeah. we, we extend our um, congratulations to you. Definitely, massive. And yours. Make Ghana proud, like you've already done. He's already done, isn't it? <laughs> like you've already yeah. done. I mean, certain people like um, Kevin Hartz. Let me just go to his. And, and you know, Adrian, and talking about um, 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 Vic, uh, Vigil Abloh as well. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that Louis Vuitton, uh, the, uh, the board of Louis Vuitton put out there was they wanted a person that will heat up the man's collection. You know, and, and he will bring the heat. People forget that he already had a rec uh, he had a, already had a clothing line that was um, shot. I mean, he pulled it off the lines after a while. You know, he called it um, off white. He used that for a while, and then you know the, the rap sometimes was so huge. But I think this guy had a bigger picture. He knew what he wanted to do. I think Abla yeah. looks like my big brother. You know. Well. Well, I'm claiming him. <laughs> well, you, you, you've already claimed him. You know? <laughs> But I think he belongs to Ghana, so He yeah. belongs to Ghana, yeah, in general. He belongs to Ghana, so. Okay, he belongs to Africa as well. So yeah? to speak. So don't get jealous if you're yeah. Nigerian or, you know, from well, Zimbabwe. Ghana or, is in Africa, I mean, it? Ghana is an African country. So, we are yeah. Africans, yeah? yeah? sure. <laughs> Our skin colour. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Kevin Hart, for real, on Instagram, had this to say. He said, wow. Yeah. At Vigil Ablo, I do not know you personally, but what you have just accomplished is beyond huge and deserves to be celebrated. Yeah. I just want to say, Congress, man, this is amazing for the mm. culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shine on, brother, shine. Yeah, it's, it's huge. I mean, it's, people don't know to what extent. So see know, it that way. It's, know, it's, 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 it's an incredible feat attained know. by a Ghanaian for the culture. We pray that he shines on. He, we pray that he makes a massive impact in Louis Vuitton. And this is becoming a line now because we had also Boateng years ago done it for Chanel. Okay. You know, so the line of Ghanaian's game. The Vogue people. The Vogue and Info and as well. Info. You know, I met Ghana. I actually met What's Info with Ghana? Day, you know? What's with Ghana and fashion though? Well, don't forget about the late Kofi, uh, Kofi Ansan as well. Yes, you know, he, you know he at the point had his clothing lines in Top Man and all these uh, uh, high street shops here in the UK and the rest of the world. You know, so I think there's something about um, creativity. You know, in being general. in general, it's in our blood. blood. It's Where we blood. come from? <laughs> but do we manage it well? That's another thing. I don't thing. know. That's another I don't thing. know. Um, my last story is actually about. Um, Councillor Lutrot apologising to Miss Nelson, yeah. Yvonne Nelson. I mean, Councillor Lutrot, mm. Councillor, can you tame your mouth, please? Can you please <laughs> keep quiet for a bit? Keep quiet. I mean, sometimes you need to just observe. Yeah. And sometimes there are certain things that you need to, especially when you have the means and the opportunity to meet all these great people, mm. talk to them in quiet, you know, yeah. in secret. And be like, you know what? I think this thing that you said, you could have said it this way. Yeah. Like I was saying about celebrating people while they're living instead of when they die. Tell the person, I think this thing that you're doing, if you do it this way, mm -hmm. young lady, yeah. you're, you're speaking all the right English, but this is not what the Lord is saying, or yeah. this is not what a role model should be doing. Yeah, sure. I mean, don't come on air and blast the person and then come back and say, I'm sorry. I don't even believe in this apology. I, honestly, I don't believe it. I, I, you, know, you know, the other thing is that in, it, one thing about Ghanaians is they celebrate people, you know, uh, that make unnecessary news. In my opinion, I think what Councillor Lufra is doing now, um, he might he probably he's got... A, Have you heard what Chase said, though? Said yeah, yeah, to I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. anyone that would slap him. You know, you know. I mean, perfectly. You know, because some of the things he's saying, you know, is uncalled for, and people have to be, be bold and be strong enough to tell him that. Look, yes, you want the ratings, you want the TV ratings, and what have you, but this is not the way to go. Oh, shush it, shush you know, what I mean, this is not the way to go. I mean, for for God's sake, I mean, everyone else is a woman. 
you know, and you have to respect women as a man. Being a counselor, you know, you have to be able to respect you women. You think he, he, should, he would know more? Yeah, you know what I mean? That. You know, but you don't go on there and say stuff Condemn like bastard, and you know, children and stuff, child and stuff like that. I think that's gone too far. You know, you don't, you just, that's no entertainment. If the know? baby's a bastard, she knows her dad, right? Definitely. Why not? You know, so it's, it's just. There are so many men far. that actually in marriage who are not taking care of their children. How about that? You know? And I'm not saying that we should, you know, encourage young people to have children out of wedlock. Mm. I believe in the sanctity of marriage. I believe that um, certain things should be, yeah, of course. you know, upheld. Yeah. upheld. Mm. But it's already happened. Yeah, yeah, it and I can't just come and say, hey, this or that and insult her. Is, is, is that right? Would we be happy if someone picked the phone and started insulting you or went on air and started insulting you? It's just it's just sad. But, this, but anyway, but this comes back to exactly with the Ebony issue as well. When Ebony launched her album, you know, she was well dressed, neatly dressed. You know, she 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 done it with live band music, mm -hmm. and the attendance was so poor. But this same Ebony went to Kumasi, performed, you know, wore a bit of a shorts, almost half naked, and yeah. stuff like that. And the whole place was energetic, like the energy <laughs> there was like the boys were going crazy. crazy. You know what yeah. I mean? So with this same counselor Luthor thing as well. People would have to understand that. Listen, with not all things are fitting for TV. Even here in the West, they say par parental control. It's advised. You know. Yeah, and uh, definitely, counselor needs. I don't know whether spiritual control or parental control. Well, he needs some kind of control. I, I think he needs. I'm it, hoping nobody needs, slaps him for the two hundred dollars. He needs Yvonne Nelson control. Because <laughs> <laughs> she just tamed him that's it, that's with it. her followers and all that. We're trending. Now he's begging. He's trending now. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's actually trending. trending you know. I'm sorry yeah. to Yvonne Nelson. Whatever um, um, message I passed on that might have hurt her yeah, fans so. and, and her, her herself. I'm very. Come on. It was too much. Counselor, too deep. Yeah. Keep quiet already. Too deep. Keep quiet. Too deep. And uh, you are trending. Zena Nakabuye says, thank you for invitation, Pastor. All of you are welcome. This is trending. Great TV London. My name is Ajoasa Boating, a.k.a. your international blaster. And the hashtag on the show is, hello. We've been blasting <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Left, right, center. We have. And even have. with Dean. And my, my co-host today is... The handsome hunk, you know, <laughs> passionate, <laughs> passionate man. Now you're writing a new name for me. I now. am. I am. <laughs> I think my dad I is am. forgetting my name now. You know. Has he? Well, yeah, because he knows. Everybody's calling you passionate man. No, the hunk you put in there. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, I think that this is where I would I would love to end our stories tonight. Yeah. I I would love to end our stories tonight. Okay, my producer is is angry. <laughs> he says I should do the last two. Okay, so um. Leah Sharibu says, I will not deny Jesus. I'll not deny Jesus. Mm. You know this issue with Bukum Haram? Yeah. They just, um, I think, abducted some girls, about yeah, sure. 100 and something girls. Yeah. And they released A few almost bit. all of them. Yeah. Remaining one. One. Only because she said that she would not denounce Jesus. Yeah. She would not deny her God. Mm. And I think that all believers should come on board and pray. Yeah, sure. That she gets released soon because yeah. I don't know. Would you would you stick to your faith? I, I think mean, stand by Jesus. I in think such a time. I think when it comes to faith, it's individual, mm. and you know, faith is in different strengths and different levels. And it's important that you know, for her to say, "I will not deny Jesus." she must be convinced now what she's standing on you know and what is really within her because faith actually is from within and and it's, it's seen out there so you know i don't think it's all about the next man or the, the other man it's about a level of faith because faith will always operate in what how much you believe in it mm. you know so what we can do as christians or what uh, christians or what the world could do because i think she's a woman first of all and secondly, you know, she doesn't deserve to be in that captivity. While we do that, can we just pray? Yeah, we, we, we can. We and can. ask everyone that's joining us right now to pray too. Yeah, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray for Leah. Amen. Wherever she is, Lord, Amen. you know. Amen. And we pray that you set your angels, Amen. the ones that went to lose Amen. the prison gates Amen. for Paul and Silas, Amen. to go and release her 
Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are God all by yourself. Amen. And there's no man on Amen. this planet that can do anything except Amen. you permit it. Amen. We pray in the name of Jesus that you permit your grace to Amen. abound for our sister in the name of Jesus. Amen. That she be released Amen. and we will stand on the same platform Amen. and honor your glorious name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We join faith with believers all over the world in saying this prayer. I believe that he's heard us Amen. and this young beautiful lady will come back home to her people very soon. Amen. Amen. Okay, so... Um, Evelyn Addison says, well done, guys. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank I you. I think Evelyn is cosmic. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, you better bring my drink. I need some great drinks. <laughs> we need some cocktails now. Yeah, life. I need some cocktails. A yeah. PRT is watching. You're trending, girl. Mami Chihuahua Focus is watching. You're trending. Frank Echampo, you're trending. Akusia Sewa, you're trending. Mami Chihuahua says, hello. Beauty mm. Queen, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How yeah. are you, too? Um, Asantua Tamaklu, you're watching. You're trending. Haj Maj, Bab. Bamban Yara, you're you're trending, and uh, Mama Chua says Amen and an Amen to our prayer. Amen. amen. So unfortunately, some of you that just started trending with us, you're late. Where have you been? Too late. We're about to go. Um, Too late. My last story is from Chloe Kardashian. Yeah. I mean, this girl. I don't know whether to beat her, to love her, or to hate her. I know. She. She's about to have a baby, sure. And she, she and her baby daddy, mm. Tristan Thompson, comes out in this great um, pregnancy photo shoot. Yeah. Let's just watch the picture and, and celebrate her. But please don't try this in Africa. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Your Not baby at all. might die. Don't don't try this in Africa. There she goes with her shiny glory. I know. You know belly in uh, all is glory pregnancy is is, is difficult but yeah. for certain women it's, it's it, it brings the beauty out of them yeah it does you know and for chloe she's um she's been praying and hoping to be pregnant for so long yeah um i mean we've seen kim kardashian yeah. have three kids now no yeah because right. with or without the surrogates the third baby is also her child of right course, yeah. so she has three um What's the other name? The other one's name? Kylie. Kylie yeah. has one. One, yeah. You know, and uh, I mean the whole family. Everybody's having a baby. It's, <laughs> having a baby it's now. just about the you, you know, know the Kardashian family is a big family, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, I mean yeah. they are, they they are yeah. expanding their territories. Don't forget that the, and the they root. Black men. Why? Because the root of those Kardashians is Eastern Europeans. Okay. And we, you know, the Eastern Europeans, they like big family. They like they like to be around in the midst of many people. You okay. Know? So. So it, the same thing, expansion in America as but well. But I think this this photo is very charming. It is actually, it's quite nice. You, know. you cannot give my husband three billion pounds to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Would you yeah. do it? <laughs> well, well I can't Would you? I can't say that here. I mean, say it. <laughs> <laughs> if I say that now, I'll be trending at home. You know? uh, oh, you better be trending at home. <laughs> I'll be trending um, at Daniel home. Daniel Obing is watching your trend yeah. in Ruth. Adikai says, yeah. Aja, you're growing weight. I just had a baby, baby. And uh, trust me, I don't. I, I I'm actually very slim. Now tell them as well. The way I'm saying now, yeah. The seed and everything has yeah. something to do with how you see my boobs and all that. So tell I, them, tell them be about the Burger King as well. You forgot in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you can't do this. We're trending. I'm trending. <laughs> I'll take you to court. <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, our trending video for the week. This will make you laugh. If this doesn't make you laugh, I don't know what, what else will make, make you laugh. laugh. Let's go for our trending video. Let's go for our trending video. Oh shit. Why are you going through my phone? Oh, the fuck, Why are you going through my phone? Oh, I'm Why are you calling Why are you shit? Why are you recording, bro? Call the police. I ain't calling the motherfucker, bro. Look at this shit, buddy. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? Where my phone at? Oh, bitch, don't hit me, shit. Bro, where my phone, bro? Where my phone? Oh, shit, nigga. Oh, shit. Where my phone? 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 Where my ph
did you see that video? What is it with men and their phones? This guy is in the hospital. I mean, he, he could have whatever disease he has. And his girlfriend or his wife is driving off. And the guy hurriedly, I mean, runs after her, wanting to take the phone. What, what do you want with my phone? What do you want with my phone? Bring back my phone. Passion. Yeah. What's wrong with men? No, I, I don't think... What's what kind of secret do you... Has, has your wife got your pass? word on your phone no i don't think it's about even men it's has she got your password i'm asking you a question well just uh, answer the question already we, we can leave that to another day no i'm asking <laughs> <laughs> i think it's about this generation and our phones Why? basically you know women women keep passwords on their phones men also keep passwords on their phones so i think uh, the generation see, see, era we are in see this is what ruth adikai has to say she said this video is crazy <laughs> was he really sick i don't know i think his his sickness or whatever it was worrying him just left him the very minute he realized that the lady had his phone behold he's healed now i mean <laughs> behold he's healed who knows what kind of bombshell he had on the oh, phone my days, yeah. and he, he he just couldn't wait yeah 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 I he mean, has to just Get out. and I love what the lady did. Yeah. She drove off. Yeah. That's some crazy woman. She just drove off. Like hell no snow fury. I said, a mad woman. <laughs> she just drove off. Come and take the phone, madman. Whatever you're hiding on, on your phone, I will find out today. Yeah. But hey. <laughs> oh, what a <laughs> what a video. See, um, Christina Pezzo says he has a hidden treasure in that phone. <laughs> <laughs> a hidden what, treasure. What hidden treasure? What, what, what would you be hiding from your partner, your wife or your girlfriend? Yeah. Whatever. What, what would you be hiding from your partner that would make you run from your sick bed in that manner? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure if Jesus was coming, this sure. guy would not run this much. <laughs> no, <gonna> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, that's why he's trending now, you know, in oh, the hospital. The guy is trending. In the hospital. The he's guy is off, trending. You know, so he's trending he, he's, now. He's trending, wanting yeah. his phone. Yeah. Desiring that the lady doesn't see his phone. Not what, at all. Whatever he has hidden on the phone. Not at all. <laughs> if, if I were the woman, I would have done the same thing. Because yeah, I, mean, I, I would definitely want to know. I mean, come on. If you left your wife in the hospital. Yeah feeling very sick or mm. ill and mm. you said okay i'm going to bring you some soup or something or mm. i'm driving off and then all of a sudden your wife comes running mm -hmm. passionate why do you have my phone where's my phone give me my phone what would you say to her well obviously i mean it raises suspicious eyebrows doesn't exactly. it? <laughs> so it's quite the same isn't it that's why i, I kept talking about the generation we are in the time men, we are in, no the no, type of men we have no, in this no, generation I, I think the women actually the type of men we have in know, this generation I, I think it's the women actually the women are more even you know they don't play with their friends um sebastian on el davoro is watching thank you you're trending yeah. justin adedia you're trending and christiana pizzo says maybe it's a surprise for his wife please please it could be actually oh, it could be what? you know you know, oh, <laughs> I don't even <laughs> want to say what I'm thinking in my head right now. Amina Mohammed is trending. Mami yeah. Anna Azu Krabi is, is trending. Cool Lady Nash. This is serious old men. <laughs> <laughs> this table you are shaking has so many so men. Many <laughs> <laughs> Josephine Adebia says, Debbie, I love your baby pink dress. I just joined. What did I miss? You missed a lot. Everything. You missed everything. But fortunate thing is she could go on Facebook now. And, and, and watch it. Because you know, when we trend, we, we leave you certain things. Yeah, you know? Of course. Little bit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about celebrating the living world of your life. And not, yeah. you know, wait till they die before. I mean, I cannot wait and say that, okay, I knew Josephine Adebia. She was my classmate. I loved her. Um, mm. She was my best friend. I mean, while we we're in secondary school yeah. and all that, I need to say it right now while your life and kicking and having babies and married, you know, mm. how I appreciate you. Josephine Adedia, I appreciate the love. You support me. Anywhere I find myself in this industry, you are there watching. God bless you. And God bless all of you that are trending yeah. with us tonight. Okay, so finally, let me just crash on someone. Earlier on, on we were talking about how Ebony kept her natural hair, yeah, right? Sure. And then. You, were you daring me to remove my wig? Well, well, I almost, but uh, I mean, you actually didn't dare to dare. I, 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 exactly, I actually didn't dare to dare. You, didn't dare you to know, because I was a bit scared as well. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> to what you, extent? You and you and my producer were a bit. Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were shaking. <laughs> I'm bored. I would have removed my, you know, we my wig right now on, you know. on TV. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're crashing on Tamar Braston. Tamar Braston, yeah. I mean, she just shaved it all off. She said, <laughs> let me just, that lady, she's everything. She's everything. We're crashing on her. She's a mother. Is she divorced yet? I mean, she's in some kind of yeah, be of relationship uh, I mean, now, isn't it? Heated um, court battles with yeah, her yeah, husband, yeah, yeah. Well, her ex-husband Vincent. Mm. But this is her looking all fabulous, and should should I say sexy? Well, yeah, sexy is the right word. Yeah. <laughs> sexy is the right word. Yeah. Oh, this this hairstyle is just giving me life. She said, "Yo, wig, get thee behind me." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wig, get thee behind me. I, draw, I, I dare you to, to host the next show, next trending show, without your wig. I can do it right now. No, not, not now, please. I can do it. No, no, I'm scared. You want me to do I'm it? actually scared now, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I dare you for the I next I know one. that you that's trending. You want me to do it. I'm not doing it. You can't do this, okay? Can you promise us for the next one? I try. Oh, man. You see, it's just like this. Well, I'm not willing to say we get thee behind me. Yet. You know? <laughs> it's just like this guy that left his phone in the car, you know, and <laughs> saved me. Oh, please, don't even do that comparison. <laughs> you know? Anyway, get mm. thee behind me without comments. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's been an exciting time right here on Great TV London. I, I love trending and I love you. I love to love you on the show on Great TV London. And thank you for joining us. Thank you, passionate man. You're welcome. You've been amazing. Thanks for having me. I love me. your voice. Mm. I love your presence. Thank you. I love your insight on the stories we did today. Thank you. And of course, you brought some kind of you. Awesome lessons on, on the set today. Thank you. Officially, that's my PR. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she knows everything. You so have then. to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Um, I love to love you, like I said. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my producer, um, Pastor Jeremiah. Thank you to producer Kay. Um, I love you, and I'm very grateful. Thank you, Beauty by Myrna, for making me this awesome. And thanks to God for even making this whole production come into a divine reality. See you same time on Wednesday on Break TV London. I'm trending. We're trending. Trending. We're trending. 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 We're trending. trending. You can't even be trending <laughs> when you're sleeping, okay? <laughs> Nine-nine. Love you. Trending. Mwah, mwah, mwah.